Hey, sometimes that happens. Bro, it's a good trout. Dude, that is a big trout right there. it's all about thank you Jesus what is up boys and welcome back to another episode of fish again Milligan we're throwing ourselves some salty head and TNT today this is a green lantern looking boy a little changeover color also throwing the murky water rod and the Shimano tranks with the suffix 832 braid so we're out here it's a windy day as y'all can tell little front coming through it's Saturday February 3rd and we opted for the late start so got to the dock around 9 o'clock and now about 9 40 we're starting to fish there's some weather wind little front blowing through so hopefully that'll clear up here in a bit and uh, we're looking for these fish in the deeper drop-offs right now haven't had a bite yet. Uh, I have a feeling they're gonna be hunkered down more in that deeper water, a little drop offs, but we'll find out. So you guys stay tuned, it's gonna be a good video. We are looking for the monster trout today. Looking for some giants, looking for some gators. If you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to like if you like the video down below comment and subscribe if you like what we're doing here at fish again milligan fish in port mansfield today we like to fish port mansfield all the way to royal city and south padre island here on this channel everything from wade fishing to kayak fishing jet ski you name it corner of the mouth he hit real close to me too got a little bit of sea lice on him so he's probably chilling on the bottom oh. 
let this guy go. There he goes. Nice. Good deal. First one. All right. So that trout was chilling on the bottom because it had lice on the belly. So whenever you turn a trout upside down, look at it. If you see little lice crawling around on it or the belly's red, that means they're sticking close to the bottom. So definitely an indicator to slow up your speed, slow up your retrieve, let it hit, let it fall, a little pop, pop, kind of roll it a little bit, pop, 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 roll it. Let it fall, kind of pop, pop, reel a little bit. Keeping it close to the bottom, feel that contact. If you start getting the, getting the grass and that's too much, speed it up a little bit. See, I'm feeling grass there, so I'm gonna go a little faster. We're in about waist deep water right now, so. Bro, it's a good trout. Holy cow, bro. Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude. Guys, this trout is huge. Huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jacob, I got a big trout. Dude. Dude, that is a big trout right there. Holy cow. Gosh, bro. My biggest is 28, and this is close. Jeez, dude. Yeah. Golly, dude. Look at that. Check out that right there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's, it's all the five. I'm going to show the camera here. Guys, that right there is a South Texas gator.
slurped that thing so good. It slurped it up. It was not going anywhere. All right, guys, we're gonna let this girl go. This is what it's all about here, catching these big girls and then letting them go. So bogus are off, just gonna work her back and forth. And when she's ready, she's gonna go. I can already tell, there it is. There it is, kicking off. Thank you, Jesus. Holy cow, guys, that's what it's all about, man. One of the biggest trout I've caught in, I don't know how long. <laughs> the biggest trout I've ever caught is 28 inches and it was six pounds, it was in July of 2019. And here we are, February 3rd, <laughs> 2024. And here we are, finally catching a big one. You guys asked for it. I put out a poll and I said, what kind of video do you guys wanna see? And this is what you wanted to see. So, all right, we came out here, getting it done. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, do us all a favor and let the big girls go. Let them go, let them grow. So that way a lucky angler can catch one one day and then they can release it onto the next angler. Peace guys.